Eric Patriot here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing the um, dual basket weave tip that I got from OT Defense. Um, I almost wasn't going to make this video because the grips that I'm using, the polymer, is so different from anything else I've ever used. I got it off of Etsy from somebody and um, it was, I guess it's a 3D printed polymer, but I mean it looks pretty nice, but it is really tough to work with. Um, it did not want to work very nicely with me. Grip texture is fine, pattern looks decent, but it was not easy to work with. So I'm going to kind of run through the paces here of how I do this, how I prep the piece. Um, I'm going to kind of fast forward through the stippling part just so we don't have to make this a 20 minute long video. But um, yeah, I'm just going to show you, um, I'm going to sand it down. So here it is before anything. It's just a black um, coated polymer. So I'm just going to sand this down, scuff it up, get it ready for the stippling and then we will go from there all right I'm using a 120 grit uh, sanding wheel on my stylo Dremel Alright guys, and that is a nice sanded piece ready for stippling. So I'm just going to clean this off here quick and then we will get back to the stippling portion. Alright guys, I'm uh, done cleaning this off. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the stippling process. So my iron here, my wood burner is nice and hot. Um, what I like to do too is when I get started, um, I like to take and make just a straight line down the center. That is my basic um, center, so I know where to keep the uh, grip lined up with as I'm stippling. All right, so let's get started. And as you guys can see here, um, you're just going to go in a nice line and you're just going to continue that process throughout. It's almost like if you've ever laid tile in your life, that's basically how you want to do it. You want to do one vertical, one horizontal, one vertical, and then obviously opposite underneath. And then just continue that process over and over until you get your achieved look. So with that, I'm going to keep going and I'll show you guys the finished product. Another thing I wanted to mention guys as you're doing this, it's a really good idea to have a steel wool with you um, just to clean up your tip every now and then because you know, material does get stuck in there uh, no matter how good your tip is and obviously you want to have a clean tip to stipple with otherwise eventually you're going to get a pattern that's going to look not so good.
Alright guys, so there is the second finished stippled grip for the 1911. So as you can see, they're actually, they're not, they're not too bad. Um, they could be better, I would say, that this polymer, guys, really doesn't do that tip justice. I'm actually really impressed. Before, I was never really able to do a, a good, consistent basket weave, and this has made it a million times easier. This is like 10 times better looking than some of the other basket weave stuff I've tried to do in the past. So the fact that this actually looks pretty decent is good. And like I said, this polymer is not a good judge. Um, this stuff is like totally different. I don't know what this is made out of. If I can get an idea out of what kind of polymer this is, I will gladly like tell you guys below. But whatever this is, is not normally what you would want to stipple. It's very greasy. And what I mean by that is as you're stippling, your tip just wants to slide all over the place because it doesn't want to stay in one spot. This is almost like a latex, greasy kind of polymer. I don't know how to describe it. This is not what you would want to use. So like I said, I didn't even really want to use this to make this video, but it was at least a video to get the idea of the tip across that this really does do a wonderful job actually creating a dual basket weave. And it doesn't bubble over. In my video where I showed before, where I said that before they claim that it doesn't bubble over into your next stipple, well, it doesn't, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but it really doesn't bubble over. I mean, it stays sharp lines. It looks very consistent, very good. So I'm pleased, and I will definitely get a better representation on a grip or something like that. Um, I'm actually going to do a foregrip. Uh, soon, so maybe I'll do the fork grip in the basket weave so you guys can get a better representation of how this is supposed to look. This was not the best choice, but it was at least to get a point of how I do this, the steps I do. Very simplistic. It's not. There's not a hundred step process. It's three things. You sand, if you have to, the existing grip off. In this case, there was no grip, but there was like a coating on it, so I sanded that off. And then you just mark out your lines. If you want to have straight lines, you mark out your lines. If you want to do a, you know, pattern that doesn't look like a pattern, then you wouldn't want to do lines unless you're doing like a sunburst. Then you kind of start out with lines and go to the center. But regardless, this is actually really nice. And I'm definitely going to do another video to showcase this a little better. And also, I'm going to try and get up closer. I know this isn't the best video angle or actual, like, up close showing you how I do it. I plan to get better equipment in the future. I'm kind of just new at this, so budget options, obviously, my camera and everything else. But if this was good, guys, uh, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will end this video with a picture of these on my 1911. All right, guys, have a great day.